Hey everybody, Ryan here. So in today's short-ish video, I want to introduce to you what I think is the best type of mouse to use in War Thunder. And if you saw the thumbnail, you might know that that's an MMO or MOBA mouse. And for my example, I have the Razer Naga Pro. Now I've been using the Razer Naga for about seven years now, and it's my main mouse and I use it for everything. But of course today I'm only focusing on its utility within War Thunder. And so the Razer Naga has 12 programmable buttons on the thumb side, which is essentially an entire extra numpad of buttons that you can access pretty much whenever. And the key here is eliminating reaching on the keyboard and moving essential controls onto the mouse, where you can access them quickly at a moment's notice. And now I'll just quickly go through my current setup on the Razer Naga in terms of controls on the mouse itself. Now I'm just gonna refer to these buttons as numpad one and two and etc. because that's what they're bound to in software. On numpad one, I've got binoculars and commander fire control, which is control numpad one. On numpad two, it's laser rangefinder or regular rangefinder. You know, it depends on what BR you're at. On numpad three, I've got smoke grenades. On numpad four, I have the map slash spawn screen. On numpad 5, I've got the squad ping marker, also double bound with the UAV ping marker. So whenever I'm in a scout drone and I press numpad 5, it'll squad ping as well as drop a UAV ping. And on numpad 6, I actually have that bound to repair for your ground vehicles. Trust me, it's really handy having repair off of the F key. And freeing up that key is fantastic because it's right in the WASD cluster and something more useful could go there. And on numpad 7, I have thermals as well as on control numpad 7 to change the site reticle color. And on numpad 8, I have fire extinguishing. On numpad 9 is artillery strike. Button 10 is somewhat unrelated to War Thunder as it's just numlock. Button 11 is actually numpad slash, which controls my flying in orbit for scout drums. And button 12 is actually numpad asterisk, which I have bound to toggling IRCM for ground vehicles. Oh, and since I'm talking about keybinds on my mouse, my middle mouse button click is commander sight. I just listed over 12 controls that I have bound on my mouse. And so that frees up a lot of buttons on my main keyboard to be used for other things. And I'm also not trying to pose this as an advantage. It just helps reduce clutter and increase efficiency with your keybinds. And now if all of this has interested you so far, I would suggest trying out a mouse like this if you can. It doesn't have to be a Razer Naga. There's plenty of other mice options with 12 buttons on the side and probably even more. And if you're already using an MMO mouse, I would really implore you to try this out. Because personally, I had this mouse for many years without even using a single side button for games. And I was only using numpad one for push to talk. And that's pretty much my spiel. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. And of course, if you learned something or you liked my presentation, then please don't forget to leave a little love on the video, maybe even make a sacrifice to the YouTube algorithm gods. And I'll see you later. Bye.